Hey guys, what's up? It's Lainey and today is the start of a new writing vlog for Camp NaNoWriMo. Lots of things have happened in the past 24 hours since I last updated at the end of week two's vlog. I'm not even kidding, like not even like 20 minutes after I filmed that last clip, um, my agent emailed me and she had the final approval notes for The Serpent Court, which you don't know is my YA fantasy romance that's inspired by The Borgias and Cruel Intentions. So I wasn't able to look at it all at any of her notes last night because I'm like, you have to finish this vlog and upload it tomorrow. I have dove into the notes today and I'm kind of working through them quickly. Basically I'm just accepting like the track changes, her suggestions, the changes that I did last round. I guess I forgot to say that she loved my changes which made me very hesitant. <laughs> what do you mean you liked all my changes? I mean it was a huge relief that she doesn't feel like the book needs another editorial pass. We're just going through those like line edit type of edits right now. I mean, I guess I just wasn't expecting that all the changes that I made and all the additions that I added into were like solid. They were good. <laughs> like I said before, that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm going through and accepting all of those changes and stuff. Right now I am on page 113 out of 395 of going through. There's a couple notes that she's put in that I need to circle back on after I finish this, but I like my mind right now can't add anything clarifying <laughs> to some of her comments. So there's two that I know right now that after I go through the whole document and accept all the changes that I need to circle back and clarify those a little bit more. Like, well, I mean, I'm looking at one right now. It was just phrasing that needed to be uh, clarified. And then another one was like kind of something that I probably need to explain just a little bit more. And I didn't want to do that at that current present time because I couldn't think. Moving on, I'll come back to this later. So I'm hoping to send this back to her tomorrow because we're going out on sub either on Monday or Tuesday depending on on how all the stuff falls together here. I knew it was coming but it's still like kind of shocking and like now my you know my anxiety is back up again, my nervousness that this book won't sell. I mean I have complete confidence in my agent that she can sell the book but I mean it all comes down to whether an editor wants to buy it or not and like that's like the hardest thing right now to be this close and feel so good about this book and the changes that I made and the help that my agent put in and making this book even better than it was. It's just, I, I feel, I'm feeling a lot of emotions basically <laughs> because I had to take a pause in drafting Pair of Prides to obviously work on these edits because these are higher priority than <laughs> drafting. Planning to just do this all night after, um, after work, after I eat, everything like that. I have about a 50 minutes left of my day job and then I'm planning to do some cooking. Well, not, no, I'm not cooking actually. I'm I'm making something I've never made before. You'll see because I think this time I'll show me making it. the approving of the manuscript. I still have to circle back and do just two. The just the two that I mentioned earlier. That's all that I need to really address before I save everything and send it back to her. It's so weird being like 
it's done done. I mean, not done done, done done, but it's done done enough to be seen by editors. And I think that's kind of intimidating and scary. I feel like Lindsay Puckett right now. We're just gonna manifest and manifest. It is Sunday and I realized last night that I completely forgot to film at all yesterday, which sucked because I wrote a thousand words and I hosted another live stream with Lizelle. It was a lot of fun and I'm really glad you guys are enjoying those because it's making me get stuff done. <laughs> Interesting things to note was that I calculated how many words I've written so far since the beginning of camp and it is 7,177. One hand, that's great. 7,000 words, that's amazing. Um, on the other hand, my goal is 20,000. So that means I have to write at least a thousand words for the rest of the month a day to hit my goal of 20,000 words. At least that's in the back of my mind moving forward, so at least I know that. Other than that, I finished working out a little bit earlier and I already had breakfast, so I haven't taken a shower yet because I'm like in that mindset right now where I'm like, you gotta clean everything. Clean every single room. Because I'm in that mood, I'm taking it. So now I'm just gonna like open up all my windows, get all the fresh air in because it's pretty nice outside, and turn on my 90s kid playlist and just start cleaning. Hello Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost we stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Wednesday and I would like to say that I am officially on submission. First off, I gotta say this vlog is actually really short because I've already edited the clips prior to this one and I'm like, this isn't very long. <laughs> I'm gonna explain because there's been, a lot, there's been a lot of things going on that I haven't been filming and just a lot of thoughts going on in my head. First order of business, I got a gold chain for these glasses. I maybe have wanted ones that were just a little bit thinner um, kind of like the black one that I had on before. It was just like kind of like a snake chain. Um, but this one has like one of those links. So yeah, but you know, it's gold. I'm feeling it. So I like it. Second thing, submission. Yesterday, last night, Elle sent over her sub list for the first round of submission. So if you guys don't know how submission works, I feel like Alexa has plenty of videos that explain that way better than I will, but basically what we're doing is my agent is sending 
um, my pitch of the book to different editors at different imprints from different publishing houses. Usually this is broken up into rounds because there's obviously a lot of editors. Our first round is going to be 10 editors. Based on the feedback that we'll get from that, when rejections start coming in, we're going to wait until we can close out that round and take some of like the editorial notes to see if I can adjust maybe the book um, to be more appealing to the second round of editors. That's kind of how that goes. But if we are correctly manifesting, <laughs> I will find an editor in the first round. So she sent over the list. It's 10 editors. And um, I mean, I feel like I know very surface level about editors and kind of their taste and stuff. I feel like because of querying, I just know so much more about agents and all of that to look out for. My knowledge with editors kind of comes from the children's um, deal announcements that are sent to emails and the, news, the newsletter I'm signed up for comes out every Tuesday and Thursday. So I'm recognizing the names that are by the people buying bo the books. So there were some editors that I definitely recognized and then there were some that I didn't. But all of the imprints, I have a ton of books <laughs> from those imprints too and it would be incredible to have be published by one of them. That is kind of that and this is kind of where we can no longer talk about submission because I feel like submission is, I mean, it, I don't say it's like a taboo subject, but no one really talks about it and it's even more secretive I feel like than querying is. It definitely feels weird because I do vlog so much and let you guys know about everything with my writing process but now this is something that I really can't talk about but it's such a huge thing going on right now in my life that it feels weird that I can't talk about it anymore. So that's one of the reasons why I've been kind of distant these past few days but also because of Cam Ramo is starting to really weigh heavily on me. Last night I did write and you saw that in in the clips. Um, I wrote 500 words and then I realized when I finished that because I was really tired and I was in the bathroom and I was brushing my teeth and I'm like I don't know if I like what I'm writing <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so that was concerning. <laughs> I had to really kind of sit with that for a little bit last night and try to figure out like I feel like maybe well I think what happened was I was reading some of the older drafts of of pair of prides, um, different scenes between the two main characters because I was trying to figure out um, how I did the journey back then because it's been a while since I read it so I was reading some of it and then I was like oh, their dynamic is so much better in this older version <laughs> than it is in the version that I'm currently writing and then I was just like I don't know if I'm just like really freaked out about that or I'm trying to compare something that was clearly revised a few times my older versions have been and now I feel like I'm starting new so I'm comparing like a first draft to a third draft and that's not good <laughs> honestly you guys I'm just like really struggling right now with what I'm trying to do with with drafting I knew I took a wrong turn somewhere but I'm not quite sure where and I don't want to delete any words because of Camp NaNoWriMo my goal is to draft 20,000 words and I know I can still count the words that I've written but I'm just... And then I had this thought, what if I switch and go back to Project Crime? <laughs> there was a little kernel of excitement that I felt for it. And I was like, I did really like that story. It's just that I didn't know what story I was trying to write. But if I tried to actually plot it and really figure out this world and if this organized crime can fit, into a fantasy setting is the industrial revolution of America the right world that I'm inspired by or if it's just like a, I needed to figure something out. Despite being excited about it, I still have no idea what I'm trying to do with it. I don't know. I don't know. And I think I'm also stressing about the fact that I don't think I'm going to hit my 20,000 word goal, which I said like a month ago that, that was like bare minimum I knew I could hit it and so now I'm feeling like I don't think I will and what does that mean and also just trying to write another book because then what if the serpent corn doesn't sell I need to have something ready for my agent to read again so we can try to sell that book I feel like I'm ending this vlog on a really low note <laughs> despite being okay like I'm mentally fine everything's fine I'm just like 
really try to figure out what I'm trying to write and what I'm trying to say and it's just frustrating. So to end this vlog on a higher note, submission, I can't believe it. It's just, it's kind of crazy to think that like five years ago, what was I doing this time five years ago? I was querying. So 2016, that was when I started and it's April. I have, my April 2016 writing vlog is definitely me querying, I know that for sure. It's so crazy that like, five, here we are five years later. You guys have been watching me for five years on this journey. And here I am finally going on submission to publishers on this traditionally published journey. Like, uh, it's just, it's totally crazy. How are you guys doing in Camp NaNoWriMo? I really truly hope that you're doing better than I. I hope you guys all have a really great day and I'll see you guys all in my next vlog. Bye!